All right. Welcome back, you glorious bastards and magnificent pictures. It is I, Doc Camo, and we're back for my thought of the day. Uh, we're the, we live in the damn twilight zone, but we're going to go over some of the news stories today. We're going to go over people are not being allowed to ev evacuate an island unless they're vaccinated. Um, there's other things we're going, we're going over. The judge refuses to sequest a jury despite one of the jurors actually living in the new neighborhood being plagued by riots. Uh, Russia's president issued a warning <laughs> to our, 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 the United States about our warship footing. And the Pentagon, 60 Minutes, literally stated the Pentagon does have a COVID microchip. That's why I began with the fucking Twilight Zone. But anyway, we all live in this fucking totalitarian fascist mess clown world. So I need your help beating that censorship machine. The best way you can help is to go directly to our website at www.thatsonpoint.squarespace.com and consider becoming a member to get a Marriott of benefits, which include early access and such like that, or just joining the email list and just trafficking directly from our website. Uh, cuts all the middlemen out. Uh, but other than that, we're on Locals, we're on BitChute, we're on Minds, we're on Odyssey. A bunch of audio platforms. Please like, share, subscribe. They do all the things to help us boost to that thing. Leave us reviews on the audio platforms. It is what it is, but we need your help to beat that censorship machine. Only you can do that. So, but let's just get directly into this because I want to talk about this stupid ass fucking garbage here. St. Vincent residents who have not had their COVID jabs are banned from being evacuated on cruise ships after two volcanic eruptions on Caribbean Island, Prime Minister announces. I like the way Daily Mail is putting this. Sam Baker looks like, okay. Oh, these three people. All right, so the Prime Minister of St. Vincent has announced that only those residents of the Caribbean Islands who have received their COVID-19 vaccinations will be evacuated following the two explosions from the Les Sophia volcano. It went off twice. The volcano in the eastern Caribbean island of St. Vincent erupted for a second time as a thousand residents were ordered to evacuate. They were ordered to evacuate, but only if you have a vaccine. The rest of you could just stay and fucking die. A second explosion of the La Serena volcano was observed on Friday, six hours after it erupted for the first time in morning, more than 40 years yesterday morning. Uh, er <laughs> You're going to die, because I don't give no fucks about you, you, you disease piece of crap. Earlier today, the island's emergency management organization, NEMO, tweeted to confirm that the majority of the country was experiencing power outage as a result of another explosive event. Their tweet read, Massive power outage following another explosion event at Lace of Sulfuria, volcano lightning and thunder and rumbles. Majority of the country out, power, out of power and covered in ash, but only the vaccinated can leave. The rest of you could just fucking choke. Speaking at the press conference yesterday, St. Vincent Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez, who should probably be fucking tarred and feathered, confirmed that only those who have been vaccinated against coronavirus should be allowed to board cruise ships, which have volunteered to evacuate. <laughs> this is a fucking clown show. Just look at this pictures of it. He said the chief medical officer would be identifying the personal persons already vaccinated so that we can get them on the ship. Gonzalez also said the residents who haven't received a vaccine but are likely to have received it in time to join the cruise ship would not be allowed to board because of possible side effects. Such as, so, no, <laughs> even the recently vaccinated will not be allowed. You have to have already been vaccinated. You, you feel the animal. You should have waited. While out conducting field work, the University of West Indies seismic center team witnessed the volcano explode a second time with the vertical ash column estimated about to reach two miles from Columbus into the atmosphere. Smaller than the first, which is estimated to have risen a uh, high 10 kilometers, six miles. Experts have warned that the explosive eruptions could continue for days or possibly weeks. An emergency aid supply such as cots, tents, and respirator masks have been poured in from neighboring nations. Oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. Uh, you can't get on this boat and evacuate this volcano area without your Jew badge. Get your Jew badge here. Yeah. Uh, ash and smoke plunges parts of the island into near total darkness, blotting out the bright morning sun, said witness. 
The thick ash lay to cover the area, including people and vehicles. Updating the public at 8 p.m., the University of West Indies Seismic Center and vigorous ash venting had resumed at Lace Fair at approximately 2.45 p.m. <laughs> Lightning was also seen in each ash column during the night, which the center was due to the high charge of nature. Oh, highly Oh, God. It's Ernst Joseph, director of the University of West Indies Seismic Center, said a column of ash from the initial explosion is submitted to have risen about high as 10 kilometers. We already read that on Friday. Forcing the cancellation of several flights while falling ash limited evacuation in some area due to poor visibility. She said this is just beginning. There is heavy ash fall in the near vicinity. More explosions could occur. She added that this kind of activity could go on for weeks, if not months, and said it was possible to predict whether any potential explosions would be bigger or smaller than the first. The volcano la lasted erupted in 1979 and the previous eruption in 1902 killed 1,600 people. Oh, look at this man covered in ash. You gotta stay because you're not vaccinated. You don't get your Jew <laughs> Uh The first bang is not necessarily the biggest bang this volcano will give. Richard Robinson, a geologist with the University of Wenton Sea Seismic Center, is during press conference. The eruption followed mandatory evacuation orders issued on Thursday for people who live near the volcano. Officials plan to place them aboard cruise ships and send them to nearby islands or take them to shelters elsewhere in St. Vincent outside the danger zone. Roughly 16,000 people live in the red zone and will need to be evacuated, Joseph said, unless you had, don't have your Jew badge. The nation ranges from Antigua and Guana help offered help by either shipping emergency supplies to the neighborhood or agreeing to temporarily open their borders to the fleeing ash covered communities with as many personal belongings as they could stuff into suitcases and backpacks. Prime Minister Shitbag asked people to remain calm, have patience, and keep protecting themselves from the coronavirus as he celebrated the no deaths or injuries were reported after the eruption. Agriculture will be badly affected and we may have some loss of animals and we will have to do repairs on houses, but if we have life, we have strength. We build it back better. Strong <laughs> build back better sounds like Joe Biden. Stronger to get in the window where he let people fucking not be evacuated. He said in an interview with NBC Radio at local stations, the pandemic could hamper evacuation efforts. Gonzalez said in a press conference that people have to be vaccinated if they go aboard a cruise ship or are granted temporary refugee in another island. He said two Caribbean cruise ships are exploded, expected to arrive Friday and a third one coming days, as well as two Carnival cruise ships and another celebrity cruises. <laughs> uh. This is fucking ridiculous. You can't leave the damn island if you're vaccinated. Islands that have said they would accept the evacuees included St. Lucas, Grenada, Grenada, Barbados, and Ituga. Not everything's going to be perfect, but if we cooperate, we'll all come through this stronger than ever. He noted that he was talking to Caribbean governments to accept people's IDs if they don't have passports. This is an emergency situation. Everybody in stands that, he said. Gonzalez added, the highly recommended those who opt out of the shelter in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, an island chain of more than 100,000 people, could be, va be vaccinated. He added, some 4,500 4, residents of the volcano have already been evacuated ships by road. As of Friday, 2,000 people were staying in 62 government shelters while four empty cruise ships floated nearby waiting. To it's a people are going to get on their own goddamn boats. It's just that you can't keep people from evacuating. Those staying in the shelters were tested for COVID-19 and anyone test positive would be taken to an isolation center. Ashfall had halted evacuation efforts somewhat due to the poor visibility according to St. Fisher's National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO. Lavender King Shelter Valency, the place in general is a frenzy. People are still being evacuated from the red zone. It started yesterday evening and it late into the Golan said depending on the extent of the damage, it could be four months before evacuees could return home. But no, un unless you're not vaccinated, and then you have to stay. Uh, this is out of garbage. I'm not even going to finish reading that. Um, this is fucking bullshit. You don't have a right to tell people that they can't evacuate a fucking volcanic eruption because you're afraid of a stupid fucking virus. I'm just fucking saying. All right, we're back, and we're going to move on and talk about the Chauvin trial, because um, in the midst of all the stuff that's going on with Dante Wright shooting and such, uh, the judge is refusing to sequester the jury amidst the new riots, even though one of the jurors is from the town being rioted, from the, the, the suburb or whatever being... Uh, there's no way in hell... This jury is not tainted, but let's get into the news. Um, switched. Boom, the news. This time it's Fox News. We're going to jump around to different certified news sources, even though 
they're going to all frame it their own fucking ways. Uh, Derek George refuses to sequester a jury in the midst of George Floyd. Miles Chris Shepin, 45, who is white, is charged with the murder of manslaughter in Floyd's May 25th, who is white. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Minneapolis, the judge and George Floyd, we can fucking see he's white. You don't need to fucking tell me. I can fucking see it. Uh, the judges enjoyed Floyd murder case refuses a defense request to immediately sequester the jury Monday, the morning after the killing of a black man during a traffic stop triggered unrest of superb jobs in Minneapolis. You don't have to tell me he's a black man. You show me a picture. I can fucking see it. The request came from the attorney of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, defense attorney. Eric Nelson argued that the jurors could be influenced by the prospect of what might happen as a result of the verdict. Uh, ultimately, Your Honor, the question becomes, will the jury be competent to make a decision regardless of the potential outcome of the decision, Nelson said. Judge Peter Kahlo said he will not sequester the jurors until next Monday when he anticipates closing arguments will begin. So we're going to wait until they get tainted by this, and then we're going to sequester them because we want a certain fucking outcome. He also <laughs> denied a defense request to question jurors about what, if anything, they might have seen about unrest following Sunday's police shooting at 20-year-old Dante Wright in Brooklyn, which is bullshit. The defense is trying to make sure they're not tainted. Um, in the wake of the shooting, hundreds of protests broke into businesses, jumped on police cars, and hurled rocks and objects at police uh, Police in Brooklyn Center. Officers in riot gear fired gas and flashbang grenades. Like, so I, I think negligence and Chauvin and negligence in the shooting that caused the new riots, but this judge is trash. Uh, Prosecutor Steve Schneider argued against sequestering the jury in the Floyd case, saying, I don't think that would be an effective remedy. The judge in the Floyd's case had previously asked jurors to avoid news during the trial. The dude lives in the burning name. Anyway, the ruling came as the trial entered in third week with the prosecutor closes wrapping up its case and giving away to start defense. Prosecutors built their own searing witnesses, accounts, experts, rejecting Chauvin's use of the neck restraint and medical authorities attributing Floyd's death to lack of oxygen. That's not exactly what happened, but uh, looting, looting Minneapolis National Guard activated. Yeah, this like Devic Shining Forty Five, who is white. You already fucking said that. You don't need to keep fight. You didn't need to say it in the first place, but you don't need to keep fucking saying that. Marion Center Floyd's made police had been called a neighborhood market with Floyd was accused of trying to counterfeit prosecution. Chauvin does been needed Floyd back. A forty six year old black man lying on the pavement. Uh, bystanders, we could fucking see that. That's right. I can't breathe, and eventually grew to spark protests and scattered violence, and we all know what happened. Chauvin's attorney has argued that Floyd's death was caused by drug use and underlying health conditions, including heart disease. He is expected to call his own medical experts after the prosecution wraps the case. Expected early this week, Nelson hasn't said anything whether or not he would testify. The next week of the trial was dominated by technical testimony, beginning with senior Minneapolis police officers, including Chief Miranda and Adino testifying that Chauvin's restraint of Floyd's violated policy. Yeah, no, the, the student's going to get acquitted because of the way it's being charged, and he should probably be charged with negligence, but it's not going to happen. Uh, oh, that's no, we're going to wait. You can't question him about that because we told them to avoid the news. The dude lives in the fucking place. He's not avoiding his fucking friends and family. <laughs> he's not he's not supposed to talk about what's going on with them, but they can fucking be like, yo, so and so's house is burning down fucking four houses from ours. They're they're destroying and flipping cop cars or whatever the fuck's going on. It's fucking stupid to think that they're not gonna be tainted by this. The trial is all kinds of fucked up. I we should sequester the jury. We should probably fucking question their biases and we should probably get rid of them if we need to. Because whether or not you think he's guilty or innocent, he has a right to a fair trial. And we even put the fucking Nazis on trial. And it wasn't to, to try and get them off. It was to show the world, lay out the evidence and show the world how fucking shitbags these people are. So if this cop really did fucking be racist and wake up that morning and be like, I'm going to go kill a fucking black man. You should want the fucking trial so it can show that. I think he was a fucking idiot. And he, he it was negligence, manslaughter, boom. But I'm not the arbiter of justice in this situation. I'm not the arbiter of justice in many situations, in most situations. 
I'm just a man reading the news like you guys and making my own fucking decisions on it. And we've been a fucking circus. This whole fucking thing is a circus.